My name is Beatrice Bilò and I am the chair of the National Allergy Society Committee. Uh, this year in Lisbon we have the opportunity to interview some presidents and representatives uh, of the National Allergy Society Committee. Today there is with me Professor Michaela Zidam. Uh, she is the representative of the Slovenian uh, Association of Allergy and Immunology. So first of all, uh, many thanks for being here. Uh, as you know, the National Allergy Society Committee is an interactive uh, uh, platform aimed at uh, uh, increase the interaction and the trust between the IACI and the, the National Allergy Society Committee. How do you perceive this platform? I think Slovenia is very grateful for this platform. Uh, Slovenia is a small country and we also have a small society, so such a collaboration is extremely important for us. Otherwise it's quite difficult for us to build our own uh, guidelines and to prepare the training requirements for our speciality and also to discuss problems with other countries to see how they uh, find solutions uh, for them and uh, to get support support from EACI is very important for our society. I would like to speak a little bit about the specialty, about our specialty. In some countries uh, the full specialty of allergology has not been yet uh, recognized. So how is the situation in your country? We are lucky now because our uh, speciality was recognized uh, last year as a full speciality of allergology, so we are really um, proud of that and we think that will definitely increase the impact of our work in Slovenia. And what about your society? Could you tell us something about your society, especially in terms of scientific activities? Yes, our society prepares two meetings uh, each year. Uh, we always try to include another society from Slovenia. For example, we have meetings with ENT specialists uh, and then another year with gastroenterology specialists and with pulmonology specialists. And also when we had a special topic of anaphylaxis, we included uh, emergency care uh, doctors um, so that we uh, share the knowledge and the experience about people with allergy. My last question is related to the allergy care across the Europe. A recent survey done by the National Allergy Society Committee and UMS clearly shows that the spectrum of allergy services, allergy care, is very heterogeneous across Europe. How is it in your country? Yes, um, the situation is relatively good, it's not very bad, because we uh, have uh, doctors with uh, special knowledge and interest in allergy, although we didn't have a full speciality. So we have two tertiary centers, one is for uh, adults and one is for children, and that's probably enough uh, for Slovenia. And we have a network of doctors that are mostly primarily pulmonologists but with special knowledge and interest in allergies so I think we can provide uh, a service for our patients. So Professor Zidam, thank you very much for your time and enjoy Lisbon meeting. Thank you. Thank you very much.